There's the smell of change in the air. At least I hope that's change. Flagship phones have plateaued and manufacturers are trying to find ways to part consumers, us, with their cash, our cash. There's more pressure placed on the idea of premium handsets covering more of our work. One manifestation of that idea is the folding phone, which I personally believe causes more issues than it really solves. But another less visually sexy idea is the current generation of enhanced desktop modes on our phones. I could write a Stephen King long novel about all of the really cool technologies that Microsoft abandoned before they got real good. A great example of what we're talking about for this video would be Continuum using this dock to connect to Illumia and then having a desktop mode I really loved and just how nice this piece of hardware was for all of these inputs and connectors and display outs. But getting away from a proprietary dock, Honor continues that idea on the View 20. Yet another really exciting improvement over the Honor View 10. You can plug in any HDMI to USB-C adapter and get a decently laid out traditional PC desktop to work with. I've been preaching the benefits of more desktop style work from our phones for years now. I jumped all in around the LG V20, writing scripts, editing and rendering video, but I got hit with a lot of pushback to that idea. So many folks regularly telling me that because average consumers don't do things with their phones, that somehow this idea isn't worth it for the monies, I guess advanced power users for phones just don't exist. But I digress. While folding phones are getting all the buzz, objectively, the best work bang for buck comes in the way of a desktop mode. Peak phone design in your pocket for portability, the ability to spread out when you hook up to a monitor or TV. Now, Android on its own is too dumb to recognize changes to display resolution or aspect ratio, but we're now all sporting crazy powerful mobile chipsets with tons of RAM and storage, a little software assistance, and a few accessories, and we're ready to rock and roll. Now, you can get by with just a regular HDMI adapter. I've used this guy a lot, but I, uh, I gotta throw a quick hat tip to Chris Panton for cluing me in to how well Android supports USB 3 HDMI hubs. 55 bucks and you've got a one cable solution to charge, output HDMI, connect a pair of USB devices, pop in an SD card, and connect to a router on ethernet. How I love seeing the full bandwidth of my home internet connection leap into action on my phone. There's still this crazy stigma that this doesn't work well. And those people, oh, I tried it once on a Motorola Atrix and it was garbage. <laughs> Come on, son. Phone hardware is way more powerful than Chromebooks from like two years ago. Powering a different UI is not an issue and it makes for a handy mobile editing solution. More robust than using iMovie style editing software on a traditional PC and I can still produce 4K videos with multiple tracks, transitions, color correction, chroma keying, image stabilization, etc., etc. There are two issues to address. Well, people need to have another screen to plug into and the phone can run a little warm when being used as a PC and a phone and it's charging. We'll need to see if this is really gonna have a serious impact on overall battery health. But desktop mode has gotten a lot better for allowing the screen timeout to turn off the display. It prevents some of the cooking of the phone's internals, but I still might consider building like a little fan dock out of some PC case fans. I don't know, could be a fun project. The display issue is the bigger stumbling block, especially for convenience. A folding phone is exciting because it's right there in your pocket. Honor's desktop mode can't really be used on the run. This is the biggest oversight for desktop modes. It works so well, but where's a good tablet dock? Or something like Razer's Project Linda, or as mentioned previously, classic Motorola lap docks. Plug your phone in, get a proper laptop style work space, add some more storage, a bigger battery, maybe even an active cooling solution to keep your phone running healthy, especially if we could get those kinds of solutions using non-proprietary connections. This all works awesome over USB. And that's what's so crazy. This is a 600 euro phone. I could buy a nice monitor, USB hub, mouse, and keyboard and still come in less than a premium flagship and accomplish well better than basic level computing. I can't really find any significant compromises when compared against a budget desktop. And there are some aspects where a phone 
can actually get beefier work done. We shouldn't be glossing over this in our reviews. Getting more use out of our electronics, filling in some of the gaps of a mobile or portable work strategy, and demanding better accessories to use this gear. But of course, real regular people who don't even know that these features exist don't do things like this with their phones or they can't. So why even talk about them? Yeah, am I right? Up top. If you folks are interested in how I'm getting all this stuff set up and how I'm using it, I'll drop me a comment and I'll break down some of my favorite accessories in a little bit more detail. Could be a fun conversation, but I don't know. I'm not gonna waste time on it if you guys aren't interested. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing. Again, not just talking about a cool phone with a cool feature, getting the most out of our gadget purchases. Now, if you'd like to support production on this channel, please head on over to somegadgetguide.com where you're gonna find a little support banner. It's got the full list of all of my affiliates and partnerships, or you could consider uh, contributing directly on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. A really fun community of like-minded tech pals, great conversations over there, and home to all of my exclusive videos like camera and audio deep dives. I almost throw this phone. I really should be keeping it in a case. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet. I'm gonna need that Patreon if I keep breaking phones. Um, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters, the Instagrams, I almost dropped it again. <laughs> <laughs> the Twitches and the Facebooks, and I will catch you all on the next video.